Hello my dears and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos, usually on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. However, today is the start to my one palette for a week series where I'm going to take one of my eyeshadow palettes in my collection and do five different looks for a whole week, basically. I originally got this idea from My Eyeshadow is Odd. She used to put out content, but she doesn't anymore. I'll have her channel linked down below anyway because this is where this inspiration came from. And what I loved the most about her series was that she would purchase a brand new palette and then for a whole five days she would create the looks. And then at the end of the week she would have sort of her final thoughts or her review on the palette. And I loved that because there's so many YouTubers who will purchase like an eyeshadow palette, do one look, maybe two down the line, and then that's it. Like, but anyway, my idea behind this is a little bit different. I don't want to purchase new palettes. I want to use what I've got, and it's basically to help me rediscover the eyeshadows that I have, because I don't know about you guys, but every time I purchase an eyeshadow palette, I use it, and I get excited about it and stuff, but then I quickly go online and look for my next eyeshadow palette. Like, it's a straight-up addiction for me. So, I told myself I would take it easy on the eyeshadow this year and you know like I said come up with multiple looks and find out why I love these palettes so much and with that being said the first eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using for this series is the Morphe 35O palette I've had this palette for quite some time overhyped everybody loves this palette I mean how could you not like look at how beautiful this palette is anyway the way I'm gonna start this is day one is always going to be sort of my signature look and then towards the rest of the series I'm going to try to incorporate colors that I've never used before Every time I opened this palette I went straight to this look so it'll be fun to come up with multiple multiple looks for you guys and have some fun with color right so I'm, I'm, I think that's that's all the babbling I'm gonna do here and uh, let's just get right into this. Okay, as always, I'm going to start by priming my eyes. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer and I am going to prime my eyes and set them with the white eyeshadow one eye at a time. I'm going to go into this sort of tan like color and I'm going to pick that up on a BH Cosmetics number no. seven brush. It's just like a fluffy brush and I'm basically going to stick that right into my crease as my transition shade. into this sort of like yellowy brown shade in the palette using my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to place that on the outer corner and then bring it right into the crease. Go back in with that fluffy brush without any product and blend things out. To deepen out the outer corner, I'm going to use a little bit of this sort of like coffee bean like color shade. I'm going to deepen the outer V just a tad. And I'm going to go back in with my MAC 217 and blend that out. I'm going to go into this sort of like I don't know, it's kind of like a flesh tone, like yellow undertone, flesh tone shade. I'm not sure how to describe it. I'm gonna use that and put it all over my lid. I'm gonna go back in with my first fluffy brush and just blend things out again. I'm gonna apply some eyeliner and I'm going to be using the Ciate Fierce Flix Eyeliner. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go back into my transition shade, which was that like tan color. Then I'm going to go into that yellowish brown color and again place that right underneath the lower lash line. And 
I'm also going to use that like espresso-y, like dark brown color only on the outer part of my eye. I take my MAC 217 without any product and blend this out. For my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use this like really, really pretty, almost like goldish pink color. And then I'm gonna add a nude eyeliner to the waterline and then apply a ton of mascara. Look, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and are super duper excited like I am to continue the series and uh, yeah, that's, that's all I gotta say. So uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and spread my love for makeup, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.